and Jules here from Jules Designs at JT Creations. So carrying on with the steampunk, um, we're making some envelope policy envelopes, uh, just out of book pages. I uh, went and picked up sixteen um, encyclopedias yesterday for free um, from nineteen fifty nine. So that was the year I was born. <laughs> So, um, making book page everything. So I made this one and I put a little bit of a digital on from my um, shabby steampunk kit. And in the um, encyclopedias, there's some black and white photographs. And I thought, and they're a bit glossy. And I thought, oh no. So what I've been doing is I've been cutting them out and just covering them with walnut stain, vintage photo, anything. And it makes them quite old looking. And I'm quite pleased with what it looks like. And that one there is just another part of that one. Um, and this is just a die cut that I've got. A little photo um thing and i've got one here and this is just a bit of the the book page as well um you know the the front of the cover um because it's the chambers something encyclopedias so what i'm doing is i'm just decorating it so i will make another one like this um but what i am going to do is i've got the cover it's the Chambers Encyclopedia, and I'm on Spain and uh, Tsushima. So what I want to do is I want to make um, a policy pocket, if I can, out of this, because it's a same shame to, to not use it. Um, so I will... Cut it. Well, I'm going to rip it. Get rid of that bit. And I want to use the inside. I don't want to use the outside. Because the inside's a little bit cleaner. I'll use the outside of the back. Um, but I do want the chambers. And I'm just moving it over. Just, I'm guessing it. I'm not making any. And I'm just doing it so that it just covers that. Although I may take. What I'll do is I'll put that one over there. But you see it's this. Well, it doesn't matter, it just adds to it, doesn't it? Um, I don't want it any taller than that one. So I'm going to fold, in fact, I'm going to fold that one up quite a bit. And I'm creasing it down. If you've got a bone folder, use a bone folder. I tend to use my nails. And the flap. And I'm just creasing. And then when I open it, I've got all these little bits so I can cut these out. I'm having fun with this. Um, my husband's away at the moment. He's just our daughters. When I told him I'd got 16 encyclopedias, he was like, and where are you going to put all those? And went, I don't know yet. They're in the the hall. Um, they're not great big, huge. Well, they are big. Um, 
when I was a, a child, um, we had encyclopedias and they were absolutely ginormous. Um, and if I make anything out of the, the, the pages, I usually stick two pages together because they are um, kind of a... Well, I'll show you the pages. This is the pages. So they're not quite like dictionary pages, but they're not um, heavy duty pages. So I usually stick two together. And we'll move these out of the way. And this. Now, what I want to do is I want mm. all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. To that corner and I'm going to cut along there and then I'm going to cut up to that corner that should yep that'll do and these two, I'm just getting them together just so that I can just take a little bit off like that. And I will fold that down because that seems to be a natural fold. Um, And the same with the, the flap. So this is, is quite a... In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this over first. And just let me stick this down. I've got some print here. I'm sick of using that Asda's stuff. It's awful. Hey, give me a card. And then let me put the two ends together. And just taking the corners off. on that just let me do I want the rough I quite like that rough edge um, so what I need to do is I need to take that off. Mm. Needs to be a little bit more graduated than that. Right, okay. 
That looks better. It wouldn't, if, I mean, if it was to be measured by a machine, it wouldn't be perfect, but here's more. I am going to ink round the edges and I'm going to use walnut stain. Yeah. So we'll put that down. Now, so I'm not going to stitch around that one because I know not everybody likes to stitch. I do. I, I like the, the feel of it and I've stitched around all the pages on my steampunk journal and I just love feeling it see when it when you're feeling the edges <laughs> I'm a touchy feely person sorry I'll find it when I come to use it again so we're going to leave that one to one side for now and we're going to carry on um doing this one so I have some circles so I want to do like a, a, a policy closure and it's just um, just over half an inch uh, a centimetre and a half diameter and that's all I've used now I can't put a brad through there because it'll go right through the envelope so what I do is I get some card. No, I do have some card somewhere. And I ink round it because we need to make it look old. And I'm going to do a little bit of stamping on it when I find my I've got some steampunk stamps here well I call them steampunk stamps because they've got like a mechanical engine on and some cogs um, and I'm going to do the typewriter. Um, now I'm going to. Mm, now I'll use the. So it's Memento's Espresso Truffle I used and that will fit there. So before I do anything, what I do is I get my little brads out and I've got some skinny ones. I've got some little tiny ones as well somewhere, but I don't know. There they are. There's still some tiny ones in there. There's one. I thought I'd got them all out, but I haven't. And I'm just using them up because um, I can't really do much with them. And what I'm doing is I'm just guessing the middle which isn't good for me and I'm putting one of these little brads through and stick it down no it doesn't want to come out well I think the 
bugs just come out. <laughs> I think that's just a little bit too much. Yes, the plugs come out, I can feel it. And then what we do is we stick that on there, just guess in the middle. And as I've said, that's not a good <laughs> a good look for me. And then what I want to do is I had a nice clean desk when I started, didn't I? One way of guessing the middle. And then I'm just guessing that the middle of that. Don't do this on your good um, good dining room table. It could be very, very expensive to get it fixed. I've not done it on my expensive dining table, but I did it on on a unit that I really didn't want to punch holes in. But luckily I was able to get some um, like wood filler, like wax wood filler, and you, you can't really see. So I did learn my lesson. And now I'm going to turn that that way because what I am going to do is I'm going to put some washi tape over that because you can see it. Um, I'm going to put it practically right to the end. And what I'm doing is I'm just pressing the washi tape down from this end. And then we'll just go over that with a bit of walnut stain. And I've got some of this green thread. Now this is um it's not embroidery floss but it's similar uh, i brought it back from cypress um all different types of greens so when i go back i'm going to see if they have it in other colors because by the i would have picked up more um, but my husband was starting to panic at the amount of, that was in my basket. <laughs> Not the fact that he had to pay for it, it was just he keeps thinking about all the weight and that that he has to carry home when we come home. But I, luckily I was able to leave some stuff. And that will just go round... like that so I'm just going to take that off for now while we decorate um, this so where's my hey do you know what I'm terrible for putting things down and losing them and it's because I pick things up to show you guys and then I can't find, there it is, can't find where I put it because I have this pile system on my desk and everything's in it. And that's where I lose everything. <laughs> now what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a little pocket on the front using that. Put a little 
but I also wanted to use this as well. So I think what we'll do is I'm going to stick that down. And these are just little tags that I've had for a while. Um, I did a kit with them. So you will see it. It will come out eventually. I've just not finished it. Um, it's just all like collage papers but they're all like beiges and i want to put some letters in with it as well now i have got some tiny little grommets but i have it's i can't I need my eyelet setter to um and my eyelet setters in Cypress. So there'll be no tiny little grommets going in there. Don't want it to hinder the I think I need to put some that's it. And there we have it. We have some what have I got here? Paper. Yeah. No, we don't want scissors. We'll have a look at that. I think we'll have a look at that one. Um, the red one might be nice because we've got red. got a deep red stitch on it so and again put it the right way and I think we'll just have that going out to the back. So we'll stick that up. Get some more ink. That's probably. Stray ink. Ah, that's it. And. You can screw these up and go over them as well. It looks nice. And the ink just picks up on the, the creases. Um, we'll have that going over there. And round the corner. And it doesn't look too bad. And there we are. So we've got our little policy envelope there. I love making these and I love them in my journals as well. So we've got those two now. So now we're going to do the blue one. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do quite a bit of stamping on that one. 
Um, because the others are, are done with book page, I think I'm going to stamp this one. Now I've got the... And I'm going to go with black, uh, Memento Black. And it's kind of just collage stamp. And then when you open that, if you see that, it, it's fine. So just, I think it's that way. It doesn't really matter which way it goes. And it might miss because there's creases and things on this envelope. not and I think we'll do one at the top now this one should be a smooth one the the mannequin I think and it's shabby steampunk so we're allowed lady things And there we are. And do we want some? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I think what we'll do is I think we'll put some lids on this. Um, Get my little bit of paper that I was stamping with, and this is all I did. Now, this is walnut stain, and because it's glossy, it does rub in quite well. And I have a little bit of This one a bit more. Uh, 
Uh, see what we can do with those. I have got one of these as well, but we'll see. So we could put a little bit of him in there. So we've got that and got that. Because there's foam strips on there, so I think that's what we'll do. So I'll just put this one down. There we are. And then what we want is we want some um, circles. a little bit of blue no I don't want any blue what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a blue grommet in now I'm going to put them there and what I'm going to try and do is get a grommet in there and I'm poking a hole and I'm just going to leave it in there while I get my Okay, so oh. Hey, Brad's got fat legs, which will make it easier for me to get the legs and open them. Yep. And again, be careful of your fingers. A pokey tool hurts to the point where sometimes the air is blue. And I'm just going to put some washi tape over that I've got some of this metallic I don't know where I got it from I think I got it from the works um, but I could be lying the works is like a stationary art shop here in the UK. I'm not quite sure what the equivalent is. Um, it's a cheap, you know, you, there's not very expensive stuff in there. Well, well, no, there isn't. 
Um, so I'm just going to get some blue. Right, we're using Baker's Twine. Just going to scruff it up a bit. Um, we just tie this in a And there we have our third envelope. So they're quite easy to make. Um, that one's not stitched round. I could have quite easily done it with book page, but what I decided to do, and I could stamp on that um, if I wanted. And that was the one that I did off camera. That was the one I part did off camera, and I stitched round them. And we decorated that one. So I'm quite pleased with them. Um, so we've got some nice um see what I mean about this because I decided to do a waterfall. I've keeping it as a waterfall and I just love the feel of the <laughs> and also um the the pages you've got the same on on both sides so what i might do is because that's blue it's more of a turquoise blue so it goes with that one so what i might do is i might hinge that or hinge it there and have that one there um I might not put them all in here. I might actually slip this one into a pocket um, because it's narrow. Um, that would be nice in a pocket. Um, I have, I don't have a green page in here. I do have a green paper. Um, that would be nice. Again, we could hinge that or just slip it in a pocket. So I hope you get something out of this. I hope you have a go. It is easy. Um, you don't have to do what I've done. You can, you know, your own ideas. Um, your limit is your own imagination. Um, so if your imagination is limitless, you've got loads of scope. And watching other people as well, you get great ideas. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.